Hi, my name is Melinda Crown. I live in Agora Hills, California. I am the owner of PEP Philanthropic Event Planning. We are an event planning service that offers copywriting, web design, social media platforms, and we take our clients down a unique road to help find them purpose and their intention, their mission, and achieve their vision. I am also the founder and CEO of Girls in Power. It's a workshop-based program to empower young women for the life skills and essential skills they need to navigate through life to equip them to be mindful contributors of our society. I have been with PEP. Um, I launched the company in 2010. We were originally an event-based company planning big event productions for nonprofit organizations. And that entailed uh, pulling together volunteers, auction items, raffle ticket items, and entertainment. And as we've evolved over, over the last two years, I handle uh, anything around public relations and marketing. We do event messaging, we do branding, web design, copywriting, and uh, social media platforms are, can be developed. We pretty much just want to help our clients with uh, achieve their vision for whatever their product or service is. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have a, a team that has a lot of the skill sets necessary to do that. Ironically, I returned to school in 2010, about the same time that I created PEP Philanthropic Event Planning and Girls in Power. I was really excited once I started taking the classes in public relations and marketing to find that I was finally in line with my intention and purpose. And the classes that I've taken have helped me apply the knowledge and apply it to the launch of my two companies, CAP and GIP. Well, besides fielding phone calls and emails and responding, I'm coordinating all of our team efforts, so all of the project coordinators and managers we have, all of our volunteer staff, uh, our workshops that we're cre we create and we run on a, on a weekly basis. Uh, we, we do copywriting, so we may prepare press releases or edit content on web design. We may develop social media platforms. A lot of research and evaluation goes into anything we do before we start. Everything that I know how to do, the, the time management, the organization, the v envisioning, what details need to be done, who do I need to get those tasks done, and basically you know, just making it happen. I'm kind of a go-to person, so that was also developed back then. And then I also went to school, and it just kind of all collided together. And ever since I made the decision, actually in 2011, to launch the workshop series for young girls, I uh, found that I was finally in line with my intention and my purpose in life. And I think that once you find what you're most passionate about and you're in line with that, that you're, um, you're blessed and you're able to do anything, accomplish anything. Is there anything that you find difficult in, every, in your everyday tasks? Like, are there tasks that you just can't, you kind of just don't like to even do? I don't know so much if it's that I don't like to do it. I think that the difficulty, um, when, I, when I launched Girls in Power, I realized we, we literally turned it into a nonprofit within 60 days. And so, and we, we dedicated ourselves to launch the workshops, which means building partnerships with people. So there's always challenges with partnerships, definitely. And then when you want to accomplish something, you need to have enough people to do that. And I'm very strategic about what I do. I don't just go out blindly and do it. I want to make sure I have all the pieces necessary. So we've built a really strong foundation. We have amazing interns from CLU and the Capstone program at Channel Islands and Pepperdine. And without those people, a lot of what we do would not be done. So you have to employ the right people. Finding the right people once we uh, open up and do more, that, that we need to have the right people to do all those tasks. So. You know, now that we've grown so much, I cannot keep up with my emails, my phone calls. My message box is, box is full. It's never been full, right? Social media is uh, a large part of what we do, actually. I utilize social media, to, obviously, to get our message out, and to create awareness, but more importantly, to create a two-way communication. Uh, I believe that products and services, when branded, 
in order to be effective, we need to develop trust and create two-way. And social media allows us to create that communication. So it is essential to do evaluation and research on uh, what messaging you want to have for your target demographic, mm -hmm. what, who's your audience, mm -hmm. uh, what do they respond to, what do they not like. Media, I believe, is, is crucial in this day, right? We are living in a virtual world and uh, a lot of messages are coming at us and our, and our youth are growing up in, in this world, in this uh, world wide web. And with that being said, you need to understand how it works how is it effective? And so there's a lot of tools out there like data mining and SEO, which help. Uh, and I found that I train people and our staff to and how to disseminate social media, how to develop platforms. And this is something that PEP offers, obviously, to companies and, and people who maybe are trying to reinvent themselves. How are you trying to get your message out there? So we always start with that vision, right? And it's the same thing. What's your goal? And then you kind of work backwards. To go through school, graduate with a degree in public relations, um, obviously they're going to learn some skills and they need to be uh, in a location or a facility to, to hone those skills. Figure out what do they really like because there's so many aspects of public relations and marketing. We can go into so many areas. We covered there's different social media, there's SEO, there's web design, there's copyright, there's maybe you're an editor, maybe you are a publicist and you're helping to disseminate the information to the media channels, so you need to, you need to understand, maybe you want to build those relationships. Mm -hmm. So I think the next thing would be trust, building trust with the relationships. Are they with your media channel? Are they with your client? Uh, and, and also obviously with your employer.